Hey guys, welcome to NJ's Brain, and today I wanted to talk to you about a few things that I've been uh, cruising around on YouTube and watching, and one of them, well actually a few of them, were these guys that are messing around with gasoline and, and running a vapor carburetor, trying to make vapor carburetors and run them on um, lawnmowers and you know, trying to get it to where it'll run on a car and get really great uh, fuel efficiency. A bunch of guys got used playing with uh, HHO, you know, hydrogen, making hydrogen, you know, this and that, trying to run it on cars. The thing is, why go with just HHO or why go with just one fuel? Why don't, why don't we start using multiple fuels to run our vehicles? And uh, it really got me thinking that back in the day, and they, and they still use them with some airplanes now, they have water injection, uh, water mist injection. It works great also at low altitudes in a car. Um, just a mist injection, which steam cleaves the inside of your engine. Now, another fuel that many people don't know is uh, antifreeze. Antifreeze vapor, you know, once it's heated up enough, the vapor is actually combustible. Motor oil. Use motor oil vapor. It's also combustible. Uh, you know, you have to get the temps up. Uh, and that's the thing I see with a lot of guys that they're trying to do this cold vapor idea. Bunch of them are sticking, you know, a two-gallon gas can and dumping some tubes down it, you know, and running it that way. That won't, that just, it'll work for a, a short time because the gasoline, and I, I know many people have noticed this, if you've even tried it, you'll notice it yourself, that the gas gets so cold that it doesn't vapor anymore. It, it just, the car will start bucking and kicking and just quit running because you don't, it's too cold. It doesn't vaporize, so you have to keep keep it heated. Personally, I'm thinking about 80 degrees or higher, you will obtain enough vapor off of the gas to run your car. As long as you can keep it above 80 degrees. Uh, the test that I did on my car, um, it was at 100 degrees when I started it. Started to run, ran beautifully, I'll show you here. Anyway, you can see what I did. I first I started and warmed the car up uh, with regular injectors running and my system going as I was warming everything up. And as you notice, I have three intakes going from my gas can to the engine. Uh, two of them going actually to each valve cover. The reason why I did that was I'm trying to suck all the heat and everything that I can out of the engine, make the engine and the car do all the work to heat the gas properly. Um, I found these. 12 volt little heaters, you know, these little guys, they, they were super cheap. I picked them up for $6.90. I bought 10 of them, so I got a better deal. Uh, normally they were like uh, eight something a piece. And they have a working temperature of up to 400 degrees. Uh, however, to get 400 degrees out of these bastards, you probably have to plug them into 220. Direct 12 volt, I was getting 250 degrees out of these things. 250 degrees, I figured that's gotta be 
plenty. So I wired them up and I put them up into a, a switch, a 30 amp switch and a 30 amp fuse. Of course, uh, when I wired four of them up, I did, wasn't getting the temperature that I wanted. I, I was only getting up to uh, about 150 degrees. The car ran great for about, oh, well, 30 seconds, 40 seconds or so. I went and checked the temps on the gas and the gas had dropped from 100 degrees down to under 40 in just that that short little bit of time. Still not enough heat. So I decided to come up with another way to fix this issue with the gasoline cooling so quick that it won't vaporize any longer and won't run a car. So what I'm going to do is take a small uh, ammo box actually uh, because it's a, a nice little sealed and the top opens and the top seals super well. So I can build a copper, run a bunch of copper lines in, in, inside that connect that to my coolant, so my coolant's running at 200 degrees, right? I'll feed fuel into the to the ammo box. That will actually just be sitting there, uh, heating up with the, with the engine uh, coolant, and I will run that through with like a small fuel pump and circulate that through in into my vaporizer chamber and then back into the heating chamber. So the fuel that's coming through that's getting vaporized is only going to be there for a very short time and it's not going to continue you know it won't cool the rest of the fuel that's that's coming in so I'll have hot fuel coming in and cold fuel going out should work out pretty well um, because the thing ran freaking awesome I mean it was incredibly smooth when I when I set that up it just it, it ran better than it did with the injectors it, it sounded better it sounded smoother so guys now if you want to do this yourself Definitely don't do it this way. Death. Not, this is, this is death. I mean, if you want to die, that's a great way to do it. I wish she would have kept filming when they had that little explosion there because I wanted to see how much of an explosion there was. You guys, don't, don't bother messing with these two gallon gas cans and making a, a vapor carb like that necessarily. Um, that's a, that's a fail. It really is. It's not... It's not working properly. Um, their claims of gaining 100 miles a gallon are great, but I don't buy it. But regardless, anyway. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and you guys have a great one.